Think of it. Seriously? Hmm. By the way. Stay behind me. This could be dangerous. They seem very angry. You're the ones that I often see at the shrine. What's wrong? <laughs> what? Koromaro-san? You think we what? Wait! We aren't mistreating Koromaro-san! It's true that he's been helping us in our battles, but... What? No! Oh, um... These are Koromaro-san's old friends. They doubt our intentions regarding Koromaru-san, since he's been more frequently injured lately. How can we make them understand? This is all a misunderstanding, everyone! Please, don't be angry. Just calm down. I'm so sorry. My hand is hard. I see. No wonder they're suspicious of me. My body is completely unnatural to them. I hope that dog isn't hurt. I've been thinking lately. No matter how human my heart becomes, my body will always remain a machine. Of course, it's obvious when you think about it, but I'm not strong enough to be a weapon, and I'm too stiff to pass as a human. There's nowhere I truly belong. I'm neither completely machine, nor quite human. <sighs> but... <sighs> oh... I'm sorry. Thank you. You're right. Even if I can't quite explain it, I have to be true to myself. Hmm. Sorry 
you for bringing all of this up. If I hadn't been created, I never would have met everyone. And that includes you. If I can stay by your side, then nothing should faze me. I know that. Make sure that Koromaru-san's friends understand our situation. I don't want you to end up in danger again. I'll see you later. Excuse me. to give myself a makeover. I need a new image. Maybe I should triple my current height so I can look down on my enemies. Or maybe I can add spikes to my shoulders or carve a giant dragon onto my back. That's not true. Once you actually see the new me, I'm certain your socks will explode. Outer appearances carry an unimaginable amount of influence. The main character of this story also put a lot of effort into looks, so people would take him seriously. That's why I wanted to change my image, too. If I want people to think I'm strong, I need to look the part. What do you think? I'd like to hear your opinion as our leader. Attitude? So it's not about appearances, then? Oh! Could it be... I'm sorry. It looks like I've had the wrong idea. At one point, the main character of the book says... Can't have people think I ain't cool. Up until then, he cared so much about his image. Yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a Shimekomi. I finally understood what he really meant. After hearing what you said, the most important thing is to hold true to your beliefs, no matter what. I'm going to hold true to my beliefs as well. I may not look reliable, but I will make up for that with attitude. I'm going to operate at maximum output so that I can be useful to everyone. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. Maybe we can organize a raid. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. That's unfortunate. I suppose I'll just go back to my room for tonight.
Thank you very much. Excuse me, could I trouble you for a moment? Have you seen a kitty cat around here? She's a precious little white spotted cat named Michan. She slipped away when I wasn't looking. I'm so worried about where she could have gone. She's getting on in her years, like me, so I doubt she could have gotten very far. A white spotted cat. Did you see one? Oh, I see. I've been so worried. I hope my little Michan is eating all right. Thank you for your help. I'll try looking elsewhere. A white spotted cat named Michan. If you don't mind, could we help her look? Being separated from a loved one can be very distressing after all. Yes! Um, what's the phrase usually used in situations like these? What goes around, comes around to hit you in the back of the head. That's it! She might be so hungry, she could eat a house. Or was it hungry as a house? In any case, we should hurry. shadows but when it comes to this i'm useless aren't i and i was the one who insisted we search i'm sorry it's not working out after all how could a machine like myself have feelings like a normal person <sighs> it's getting dark we should probably give up the search for today. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you took the time to indulge me in this. I'll be going back alone today. I need some time to think. I'm sorry. After you invited me out, too. See you back. I am calling to this time. Goodbye now. Yes, exactly.
says no playing catch in the park. Yeah. Kind of messed up, don't you think? Playing catch is how kids are supposed to make friends. Adults can't just ban it because they feel like it. Oh, yeah, that'd be the logical response. But I'm just saying, if more places end up like this, it's going to be a real problem for kids who want to play baseball. In any case, I didn't know it was banned here till today. When I first moved here, I play against the wall every now and then. This whole catch thing. It's because I wanted to get my arms back in shape. I've been thinking about maybe getting back into baseball again. I still have no clue what I want to do with my life. And if I keep trying to avoid it, I'll have nothing but regret hanging over me. Next time I'm asked what I'll be doing in two years, I want to have a real answer. That's why I'm picking baseball back up. You, uh, think that's the right call? <laughs> that's supposed to be a compliment. Anyway, here. This is for you. Today was a bust, but we'll try again another time. Hang on to that till then. Though, I guess we'll have to wait till after you-know-what, huh? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I've been feeling like this since April. I can barely juggle what I've got on my plate as it is. Let alone think about the future. Our senpais, though. They're such badasses. They're still prepping for exams, even with everything going on. Man, it's been a hell of a year. We're gonna look back on all this someday and wonder how we ever got through any of it. It wasn't all good. And we hit more than a few rough patches. Guess you could say our short lives have been pretty wild so far, huh? <laughs> right? Despite all that's happened, I'm glad you became our leader. I know I said you should do what you want to do. Thanks for choosing to fight. Well then, let's make sure this chapter of our lives ends on a happy note. All right? And then, Hollywood will turn our adventure into a movie. I'd be the lead, obviously. Dude, you'd be a shoo-in for best supporting actor. <laughs> that serious crap ain't our style, is it? Come on, let's head home. We'll figure out how to sweep the Oscars on the way. until the very end. That last line he exchanged with the casino's boss gave me goosebumps. And how about that part when he was all, count to five? <laughs> I hope I can be like him when I'm an adult. What do you think it takes for a guy to be hard-boiled? That's true. You can't really be hard-boiled if you're quick-tempered. You have to keep calm and never let the enemy get under your skin. Come to think of it, that might be just what I need right now. 
I tend to get worked up about what's right in front of me, don't I? That's exactly the kind of thing a kid would do. I need to fix that. Well, now's as good a time as any to start. I'll give it my best shot. If I do that, do you think I could become like him? A cool, hard-boiled guy. Just like the detective in the movie. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Don't worry. I'll work hard and prove that I'm not just all talk. Oh boy, look at the time. But I still want to talk about the movie. Uh, uh, wait, I'm not sleepy yet, okay? to be by the way by the way no way a little skinnier than you used to be. This little one is all I have left to keep me company. I was so lonely when Michan was missing. I don't know how I can thank the both of you. Lonely is being by oneself lonely. Oh, yes, dear. When you get to be my age, You'll find that all the wealth in the world won't take care of you. No one can truly live alone. Some of my neighbors have delightful children, but... <sighs> they aren't interested in old ladies like me. Miss... Well, Michan, shall we go home? Thank you so much, you two. It seems that living is something that can't be done alone. Yes, it's important to keep someone in your thoughts, and to know that you are in theirs. To be able to contact them anytime, and to touch them. But I do understand one thing. It seems I feel happy when I'm together with you. But I have to wonder if living means to be able to connect with other people. How close to that goal can I come with a body like mine? Hmm. Just kidding. I've been exceedingly negative lately. I wonder what's wrong with me. We should start heading back.
come back. No. <laughs> oh, right. <sighs> Precious, luxurious veggies. Man, all this non-stop watering and weed pulling, not to mention the bugs, it's pretty monotonous. Kinda just feels like busy work. Like a what? The hell does that even mean? But, uh, maybe you have a point. You gotta treat it with love and kindness. Sound about right, oh wise one? Gotta say, we've got a long way to go before these veggies put us on easy street. Anyway, I'm the one who asked you to join me in the first place, so I gotta be the one to look after. Da -da -da -da! The veggies have leveled up! Whew, another day of hard, honest work. Let's head back downstairs. roams and chaos reigns who struggle so fervently twinkling like stars in the night but such delusion will not lead to deliverance why join us in the messiah and await the moment of salvation you say that only because you don't know the truth heed the voice of the messiah and follow the path to true salvation I do believe this is the first time you've ever visited me. Hmm. 
I'm sure you are aware of the coming salvation. I understand your perspective. I'm certain you've realized it by now. We have no further reason to be enemies. Your efforts were all for naught. The Dark Hour will persist, and Nyx will bring an end to this planet. Fate has been decided. But there is no need to worry. We are simply being freed at last from the illusion of a future rife with betrayal. Nothing more, and nothing less. All you must do is embrace this truth. Do so, and I shall be your shepherd. Just the kind of person you are. And the means by which you deign to save everyone are quite different from my own, I'd imagine. <laughs> so then, you intend to fight Nyx? I see. I scorn those who preach about the future with improvidence. The world does not need a script that is already written, nor does it want for charlatans who speak as though the future can be seized. What it needs is for the curtain to fall. If I just endure for now, if I can wait until tomorrow, these blind hopes for the future are the root of the people's suffering. They can never be saved because they look to a future that doesn't exist. It doesn't matter whether you can defeat Nyx or not. Why, you ask? Because you won't even be able to reach her. On the day of salvation, I will wait atop the Tower of Demise for Nyx to arrive. And be warned, if you dare to oppose me, I will show no mercy. We'll get... or anything, you know? Oh my, is that so? Oh, you poor thing. You've always been such a good boy, Kyoshi. This advance on your allowance will just be between you and me. Come on, quit it! I told you not to call me Kyoshi! But it's such a beautiful name. I picked it out myself, you know. It was the name of a fine doctor from my home village. Yeah, I know, I've heard. Come on, hook me up already! 
Oh, yes, yes. It's not much. Try not to spend it all in one place. Sweet, thanks. See ya. Be careful and visit again soon. I have something I want to ask that Yoshi san. Kiyoshi san, please wait. Hey, don't call me that. Uh, uh, I guess senpai. Do you know me? Well, yeah, you're famous. Uh, I'm uh, Kiyoshi Sakuma. I'm a first year. Everyone calls me Joe, I guess senpai, so you can just. I would like to ask you something, Kiyoshi san. Do you mind? Uh, sure. Kiyoshi san, do you feel lonely when you are by yourself? Huh? What? Your grandmother said that she's lonely because she has nobody else. What is this, a lecture? No, I just want to know. Why don't you visit your grandmother more often? If you are her relative, you may have the power to alleviate her loneliness. I mean, I am her grandson, but look, I don't need a lecture from you, all right? It's none of your business, okay? Kiyoshi-san, have you ever considered what it means to live? To live? Personally, I think the bonds between people are what's most important. That's what your grandmother is slowly losing. <sighs> to live? Are you kidding? No one actually talks like that. What more do you need out of life than to have a blast? To have a blast? I mean, you're happy when you're having fun, right? So hell yeah! We're alive to have a good time! A good time? So, what do you say, Aika Senpai? If you got time, why don't we... Thank you, Kiyoshi-san. Let's go. Huh? What the hell? What, so you were just trying to play me? <laughs> Screw you! I can't understand Kiyoshi-san's feelings. And I even made him angry. Did I do something wrong? I see. I wonder why... Hearing you reassure me that way is... Well, it makes me happy. I... Ever since I decided to live, I've been asking why and how more frequently. The more time I spend with you, the more I discover that I don't understand. That when I ask myself why I'm not alive, I never have an answer. <sighs> is this what you call... Frustration. But at the same time, I feel extremely lucky. I would even say I'm more fortunate than others, despite not being human myself. After all, you are very important to me, and I get to be by your side. It's strange how two conflicting feelings can coexist. towards Kiyoshi-san are unusually harsh. Kiyoshi-san has warm, soft hands to embrace those precious to him. And yet he... <sighs> what is this ugly feeling? Is it... jealousy? Let's stop this. It isn't right. Yes, I am stopping right here. Shall we go home then? So, 
um... No. Speaking of, career counseling is coming up. Yeah, what are we even supposed to talk about the whole time? Oh, Koro-chan! You're gonna get sick if you go sleeping anywhere you want, you know. Hmm? What's up, I guess? There's a miniature camera near the ceiling. It's been camouflaged. What? So it's been recording everyone who walks past here? Oh yeah, I forgot you could see anywhere in the dorm from the command room. Does that mean one has been placed in each of our rooms as well? Uh, I never thought about that, but I think it might. I did use the system last year. Is that true? Well, you need a key to use it, and I doubt any of the guys would have the guts to look in our rooms. Mm. Oh, if they did, Nyx can wait. I'll tear them apart first. Are you experiencing the psychological breakdown known as dying of shame? Anyway, we don't need that stupid system anymore. Let's ask Mitsuru-senpai to have it removed. Yes, that's right. The camera's recording right now. Yoo-hoo! Off, just as the hero passed out from pushing himself too hard. That part where his teammates managed to keep an even score while he's out was such a tearjerker. The game's almost over, and our hero, still weak after a short rest, steps up to the bat. Hey, you totally get it. I honestly thought you wouldn't be into it so much. It's predictable, but it doesn't stop it from being awesome. Man, I forgot how good stories like these are. All right, now that we're at the best part, let's go full speed till the end. Whew, what a ride. The hero totally kicks everyone's asses in the end. And that part where he's so exhausted that he like surges with power, it's like his senses heighten to a whole nother level. Would it be so freaking cool if we could do that? I think so. It's gonna be intense, you know. It's what separates the chumps from the masters. You can't just rely on raw strength. You gotta concentrate, let go of all that tension, then <laughs> your powers are like, womp, womp, womp. and then you unleash it like, <laughs> or maybe you power up like, <laughs> then you let it rip. <laughs> That makes sense? Dude, I 
think I might actually be able to pull this off. I gotta look into this more. Wanna read it one more time? Just the last part, I mean. And that, my friend, wraps up the series. Being alone's fine, but with gems like this one, it's better to share the fun with a pal. I'll bring you something else next time. We should do this again when you're free. Let's call it a night, shall we? Man, I'm gonna sleep like a log. Yoshi-san's grandmother. Good afternoon. Oh, you're those nice students from before. Hello there. You have great timing. I was just hoping to run into you two again. The truth is... Mitron's disappeared again. Oh, so it's a recurring problem. Don't worry, though. At least this time, we have an idea of where to find her. No, that's all right. I believe that this time, Michan went in search of something. In search of something? When cats feel that their life is nearly over, they look for a place to wait for the end. Isn't that what they say? Wait, but what about... It's okay. Michan even came to say goodbye to me before she left. So... I don't think I'll need you to find her anymore. Miss... Besides, it's more or less the same for me. My day will eventually come too. And when it does... I hope I can rest in peace, without making trouble for anyone else. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry, but I did want to make sure I thanked you two again. It was nice to see you. Well, good day. Wait, Miss, um... You're not alone. I'm certain of it. <laughs> yes, you're right. No one is ever truly alone. Not as long as they continue to live in this world. See? I have the company of a fine young lady such as yourself. <sighs> Bless you, dear girl. You have a kind heart. See you later. Yoshi-san said that people live to be happy. Was Michan-san happy? Was Michan-san grateful to have been born? For what purpose was Michan-san born? Life. Where does it originate? Where does it go? What reason does life have to exist? Living means connecting with others. All life eventually ends. Parting seems to be a natural and inevitable aspect of life. An unavoidable end. Life 
is cruel. I wonder, will I too someday have to part with you forever? <sighs> I do want to live, but that's not the only thing. I... It's not just about becoming more human, it's about you. Being with you. What... What is this feeling? What do I want to do? getting upset. I'm going to head back. Comes the champ. Now things are getting exciting. Get him, Amada. We heard you two were going to have a match. We're just here to witness it. That's right. We're here to watch the little dude shine. When I told them I wanted to beat you, they all offered to help. I set up a training routine for him and gave him advice on his movements. I also wanted to build my legs and core, so I've been going on runs with Koromaru. And I took on the role of being you for practice matches. We figured if he couldn't land a hit on Junpei, then beating you would be out of the question. But, hey! Spare a thought for the guy covered in bruises over here! Man, he really didn't hold back anything on me. Well then, let's do this. Yeah! <laughs> You're doing good, Amada! Keep it up! You can do this. Just take it half a step further. Did he get hit? The next one's coming. Get up. Hey, are you guys up there? Oh, oh yeah. That's a clean hit. The winner is Amada in the blue corner. <laughs> I just got lucky. Plus, I did kind of cheat. No. You saw a window of opportunity and you took it. That's something to be proud of. Fuka and I bought some roasted sweet potatoes. I was looking for everyone to come eat with us, but what are you guys doing up here anyway? We're witnessing a showdown between men. Right, Amada? It sounds kind of weird when you put it like that. But yeah, I guess so. It was a great match on both sides. Huh? I don't really get it, but it sounds like you're having fun. It's cold though, so you should head inside soon. Oh wait, did you say sweet potatoes? Count me in! I bought them for a Matakun. Junpei, you can have the skin and the burnt parts. Hey! What am I, a dog? Thanks for the match. I learned a lot from it. No, I just got lucky. I was stuck on the defensive that whole time, but I think I did do better than our last fight. Now, I just need to apply this to a real battle. Technically, we're tied one to one now, so the next match decides the real winner. Not sure I actually have a chance, though, but I hope you'll let me challenge you again sometime. You gotta promise, okay? 
Okay. Then, until that time comes, will you hold on to this for me? That's the key to the house I lived in with my mom. Whenever I look at it, I remember the time I spent with her. That house is filled with all kinds of memories we shared together. I know the final battle isn't going to be easy, but no matter what, I want to come back here. I feel like this key will connect us to each other. And I hope, someday, maybe I can be that person someone can always come back to. Just like how Mom and everyone at the dorm was there for me. Uh, sorry for talking for so long. Shall we go down and have some sweet potatoes? So our next match would be next year? Or maybe even longer than that. I know! How about once I reach the same height as you? And if we're around the same build, I might stand a chance. Oh, but you'll probably be even stronger by then. <laughs> when that time comes, I wonder what everyone will be like. It's exciting just thinking about it. Out, I snuck you into my room. They'll hear me if I'm too loud. <gasps> Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Hey, you don't need to say it. Jeez. Whatever. Oh, right. I wanted to give you something. And this is for you. You know what it is, right? It's the strap from my cell phone. I got it at the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It's been my special keepsake for years now, because my dad bought it for me. I used to talk to the little charm attached to it when I was alone in my room. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts, huh? But ever since I got to know you, I've stopped talking 